Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Ruby. If you haven't, you know, discovered that by now, this is my uh, very first, like, recording of, like, a video at my desk. I'm actually testing this to record, to upload to YouTube. So this is very impromptu, very raw. <laughs> um, and, you know, everything above. I actually had an appointment with a client literally um, just about 30 minutes ago that was rescheduled. And I decided to have a quick bite to eat for lunch because I've been in appointments all morning. And I said to myself, you know, I'm actually going to take this extra time before I dive right back into my work and just record a video for my YouTube channel. I uh, recently connected with an old high school friend of mine, and um, we were just talking back and forth. She reached out to me on Instagram, and we were talking about different things that we were up to. And I'm always working. I'm always, this is where I'm sitting is literally my office. It's where I spend 80, 90% of my working days. It's at my desk, which is another topic. But we were messaging each other back and forth. And we were talking about podcasts and content and YouTube. And I said, you know, she has a, a podcast on YouTube. I said, it's so funny. We were talking about it. I said, I always wanted to have like my own like little podcast on YouTube. And she's like, you need to do it. But that was the second time in that same day where I had like got that a very similar message. Um, there's a few other um, like influencers that I follow. And um, while I and I listen to them while I'm working, designing, assembling stationery, things like that. And he mentioned something that spoke to me. Um, he has been recording videos for quite some time. And he said when he first started um, that his videos were just like very, you know, they weren't the best. He's like, I won't even go back and look at my first video. That's how bad it is. But here I am today, a year later, and I've grown so much. And he has a really nice following, but it's authentic. It's people that really enjoy listening to him. And it made me think because one of the things that I've always wanted to do was start my own YouTube channel. And I have so much to share, so much content over the past five years, maybe. I've created so much content and you know what? I'm sitting on it. I have videos recorded. I have filming that I've done with professional photographers, videographers, and a lot of it I haven't shared. And, all, and I think about so much so much um, that I feel like I should share. It just kind of sits on me. You know, um, I'm a small um, black woman owned business and I'm in the wedding industry. Um, and I have so much to share and I feel like I haven't been able to do that. And I'll, I had allowed so many things to get in the way for me doing that. And I don't really want to do that anymore. I think a lot of that too has to do with me worried about... Um, time and on occasion what other people think and that to me that's really not the case either it's the time um that I have to think about like oh it's just another video I have to create oh you know I have to you know upload it and things like that and you know it's just another thing to do but I think this is important so um I want to share a little bit more of me with you and my experience and my journey and I'm going to start, I'm going to do my best to try this. And I'm listening to what my friend told me. She's like, just record, just do it. So <laughs> um, this is my office. This is my backdrop somewhat. I have to fix this. It's a little messy. You can literally see like a portion of my whiteboard. I have my little, um, my plan, <laughs> my Q1, Q2, Q3 plan, just like drawn here. Um, but I'm going to fix my little area up over time. And myself too. So, but I'm gonna do it. So, and I hope you can join me in that process. Um, I don't really have a lot to really talk about, and I'm fidgeting. <laughs> we just came from another appointment. Um, I don't have a lot to talk about, but um, I met with a client earlier today. She was such a joy to meet with. She's one of my um, a brand new couple. She just decided to work with me. I'm excited to create something beautiful for her. 
Um, I have many clients that are like that, and um, it took me a long time to get to this point. And I'm very excited to be able to provide a service and a solution. I think that's the thing to most of my clients who are getting married and, and need someone like me. So I'll dive in more of that in another um, video, but I really want to, this space that I'm creating to be encouraging, uplifting. I don't really want to spend too much time talking about um, what I do here because I, I have Instagram, I have um, TikTok, Pinterest is somewhere coming along together, um, but I really want to make this like a fun spot where I can just really be me. I mean, not that I'm not me in my other places, but I really want to make this space unique. And I will share more of what I do with the stationary world. I'll, I have a ton of videos that belong on here on YouTube. I do. A lot of things that's happening behind the scenes and uh, assembly and processes, I'll upload that here. I think the last time I counted, I had a little over 300 videos. And um, I'm ready to share that now with the world. Some of it I had already been sharing, remixing and all that stuff, and it's very tough work. So, you know, I have myself, I do have a small team, and so I want to try to do the best I can. Um, so I don't have a lot to talk about. One thing that actually I thought about, I'm going to share this because this is fun. My husband and I were watching a movie last night, and we always have little date nights. I make time to do that. Ooh, I get to talk about all kinds of stuff on here. Um, but anyway, we were watching American Gangster. Now, my husband has seen this movie over and over and over again. He watches a lot of these films, like on old gangsters from like back in the day. Now, American Gangster has Denzel Washington in it and a ton of other stars. Idris Alba, T.I. There's all kinds of folks in there. Um, and something's actually kind of stood out to me in that movie. And that's one thing I learned about American Gangster that I actually want to, sh to that that's kind of like I'm thinking about that we I can apply and maybe share with you. It's Women's History Month. It's March. We're coming. We just got a few days left in March. So um, one of the things I noticed that they didn't really they put some spotlight on, but not a whole lot, but played an integral part in the movie for Frank Lucas or Denzel, should you say, was his wife. Now, in the movie, Frank Lucas is a very powerful man. Like, he's a gangster, right? And he marries this beautiful uh, Puerto Rican. Um, and she's, you know, throughout the movie. But obviously, the movie is about Frank Lucas. But one of the things I realized, she plays an integral part on um, showing how much power she has. And I feel like, you know, since it's Women's History Month, I want to share with you all how powerful we are as women. Frank Lucas was a powerful man in that movie. But once she came around, um, she was able to influence him. And not a lot of people could do that with Frank Lucas, right? And that's the case with a lot of men, right? <laughs> there was a part in the movie where he was talking about the guys that was working for him about the, the clothes they were wearing. He was like, you're too loud. You know, you're wearing too much. You're drawing attention to yourself, you know? And he was, he was serious about that. He didn't want anyone around him that was like loud and obvious and like wearing all this stuff. And his wife comes in. <laughs> she bought him this mink fur, or I don't even know what it was, like this fur get up, matching hat, coat. And he looked at it and he kind of had to like, contradict himself and wear it because she was so sweet. She had no idea how he felt about that, but she saw this out this this get up and she wanted her husband to wear it. And he wore it. It's something he would never do. And that goes to show how influential we are as women because Frank Lucas was a powerful man and he 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 would do anything for his wife, but also he was a businessman. And even at times when, when, you know, she would want and do certain things, he he based a lot of his decisions on business. Um, and him actually wearing that got him into a lot of, he got him into the light that he didn't want to be in. But she was the one that kind of um, kicked that off. And that goes to show that we are really powerful and able to influence anyone <laughs> in anything. That's how powerful we are as women. And it's not the first movie that is out there where the movie focuses in it on the guy. But it usually a lot of the big decisions that are made has to do with the woman. And it's, it was really, I thought it was really, it was a good movie. There's a few things that I've picked up from that movie that I think about as an entrepreneur that um, I might even, 
I'm going to see if I can try to label this video as one thing I've learned from American Gangster or something. I have no idea. I'm going to try. This is my first time uploading a YouTube video. So, uh, but anyway, I thought it was a great film. Um, I've seen it in bits and pieces before in the past, but this is my first time watching the movie all the way through from the beginning to the end. Um, and I don't think, you know, they realize like how powerful um, the wife was because it was really her that, you know, um, that made a big difference in the actions of Frank Lucas. So um, if you're a woman and you're in this, you know, in business for yourself and you're trying to make a decision or take risks and things like that, just know that you, you really do carry the keys. We have the power we had it all along, and, um, you know, it shows and it's shared in many stories, many films, many movies. While it's all just movies and fiction and things like that, it's the truth. Um, it's what makes great stories. So if there's something that you're thinking about doing or something you're kind of um, on the fence about, just, you know, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Um, it's just kind of putting myself out here, but do it because you really do have the keys and the power to do something positive and major. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work and maybe I'll do this a little bit more often and maybe I'll switch spaces too. Um, and, and you know, you just, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what's gonna come of this and I'm gonna just do it. Um, you know, and that's all, that's it. So I'm going to upload my very first video. I have more in the vault. <laughs> so um, drop a comment in the chat, right? Or the comment, did I say that right? <laughs> drop a comment in the comment section. Is that what the YouTubers do? And talk to me. This also, I wouldn't be surprised if this video was just crickets. I poke, I get this uploaded on YouTube and I get crickets. So if you do comment on this video, that, that will at least give me some indicator that someone's here. <laughs> Either way I go, if I get crickets, I'm going to still make videos. So I just have to keep, you know, putting them up. But um, yeah, um, comment on this video. <laughs> Is that what they normally say? comment on this video and yeah and I'm gonna respond based on that or whatever <laughs> but this is official I'm gonna get this bad boy up special thank you to my old high school friend who just told me to just do it because <laughs> I'm doing it and I gotta get back to work I got a long day it is Saturday um the beauty of being a small business owner you know you just be like I don't know when I'm gonna be off because yeah I have clients yes and I do have a team but I'm constantly moving and shaking so i hope you are doing the same and um you guys i'll be in touch with you soon and be safe out there take care